We can focus our static fixtures by selecting them in patch and clicking in the augmented window. It's best to have two monitors or two screens to do this. So if you only have one monitor, you can set up a split screen with the augmented window on one side and your patch tab on the other frame. You can also use a tethered device as your second screen or simply two monitors if you are running augmented on board your console. So while we're still here in patch, I'm going to select just channel 51 and you'll notice that that turns on. So that is not actually turning on out in your live rig. How this works is when you're in patch, the augmented model will display anything that is being output live in your rig, as well as anything that is selected while you're in patch. This allows you to make changes and see how they're going to affect your model without actually turning on the fixtures in your live rig. To focus this fixture, I'm gonna go ahead and click and hold and let go in my augmented model, and that will point that fixture where I click. I can also click and hold and then drag which will allow me to make small adjustments as needed. You'll notice anytime I let go of the mouse button, the orientation will update in our patch screen. The orientation in patch and the physical position of the fixture in our model are always going to be in sync. I'm gonna go ahead and clear my command line. You'll notice that the fixture does turn off in our augmented window since it wasn't on in live. And now I'm going to select all three of those. So 51 through 53, and you'll see those all come on. And I can focus all of these at the same time if I need to. So with the three fixtures selected, I can click and hold and let go. And you'll see all three of those have gone to the same spot and their orientation is updated in patch. Notice our position is not changing because we're not physically sliding the fixtures on the pipe or raising them up or down. We are simply panning and tilting those static fixtures, which affects their orientation. I can also click, hold, and drag with multiple fixtures. So if we click somewhere else and hold that mouse button down and drag, I can move all three of those together. And when I let go, their orientation is updated to affect the new angle of those fixtures. For now, I want to reset the orientation of these fixtures back to zero slash 45 slash zero. So just like position, this is gonna work in the X, Y, Z order. So I'm setting them back to a zero degree, so straight down on X and Z, and tilted at a 45 degree angle on the Y, like we started with. And now I'll just clear my command line.